Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. What? Did y'all hear that? Got my number one helper with me. It's um, it's Columbus Day here in the States, and it's a holiday. Banks are closed, and a couple other, you know, departments, government. And, uh, she's out of school, so she come up here and ride with me for a little while. We got a little... You see the paint I put on the car, babe? What do we call those? Shoutouts. So what's it say right there? Can you read it? Read it loud. Mr. Geopet. Mr. Geopet. Whoops. Yeah, he wants to open the trunk and see if he see what else is in there. What's your favorite part of coming out here, Ember? The what? Digging in the cars and busting the windows. Digging, busting the windows and digging in the cars. Uh -huh. Here, I'll tear that plastic off. Hey, we're good. All right, man. He's doing the right thing. You know, we always look in these cars. These cars turn into pieces when you crush them, Ember. You see, it? you see the door? It's just, it's like just breaking. Look. It's like not even metal. It's like a kind of plastic sort of. I mean, they use different, I mean, it's not plastic, but I don't know how to explain it. It's like they use fabric with chemicals that turn into glue. Look, I can't even get it all pushed in. What I usually end up doing is just taking the fork and just tearing it off and then we'll pick it up and throw it in a car. It's just what I refer to as bits and pieces. You know what, you might... The seat's all messed up. Oh yeah, it's all, the whole car's messed up. Forget it. They drive me insane, these stupid cars. Like the stupid Mustangs. Like what? Like the stupid Mustangs. <laughs> That's my girl right there. Huh? She knows. Like stupid Mustangs. That's what I'm talking about. That wasn't even rehearsed, folks. I swear to God, I'm raising mine right. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, baby. Made my day. But anyway, uh, let's get some... Uh, something else in the crusher I'm gonna put this on the side I like to put these in between cars instead of like Woo! I know I know it happens it happens I gotta get some better stuff you gotta get some stuff to like attach it like filter <gasps> I told you hey dude hold up So here in a little while we'll uh we'll take a peek at some of these cars but you know the rule dude like we don't just touch anything i'll like you point it out to me and we'll take a look at it okay hey folks so this car also this load also has the um that custom 500 i'm counting this cars i might just be able to sorry wasn't able to get to it on this load ha <laughs> ha i got my games too out here folks I know how to work it, but uh, I mean, if the man says go over there, get that car, and bring it over here, it is what it is. But if I can let it sit in one more load, somebody might see it, and you never know what happens. I need to put a link. I need to figure out how to put a, to do the link to where I can take um, Classic Ride Society. He come out here and, and, and featured the car, and y'all really need should see his video. It's pretty cool. He. He's got this cool way of talking about them. I think this is like a 88 or 89. It's been sitting in the field for a while. I bet if you go over there and 
open the door, there's probably some wasps will fly out or something. But some the guy's got ten of them. Now he's got five. He sold five of them to pork chop. Well, uh, Mr. Geo Pet, thank you. Supposedly Ronnie's got four more to bring in. Um, hey guys, it's I didn't have much car to ride all that on, but it's actually spaced. But uh. Thank you. And me and uh, my number one helper, we're gonna crush some cars down. But let's let's get this one. That's a little bitty car, isn't it? Like that? The window just popped right out. The window just popped right out. Got another little car right over here we can grab and put on top of it. You ready to look in the trunk? Yeah. Well, let me hold it up there. Oh, he's got it. Hey, so here in a little while, we, we'll, we'll go look in some of them cars over there. What's he got? What'd he get? What did what he found? Oh, he found some, like, uh, electric wire. Not electric wire, but electric fence wire. Some people call it tying wire. Uh-oh, Mario's like, well, dang, if Porkchop found something, I gotta find something. Uh-oh, Mario found tape, a four-way, some other... Rich scissors something. Well, that person had some stuff in there. Right? I would say, yeah, they, left, they had some stuff in there. Why don't people take their stuff out? Babe, I, I, sometimes they just don't and they don't care or uh, sometimes just they don't get a chance to get, I, I don't know, but how many Bibles have you found in cars? Um, two or three. Two or three. I wish people would take their Bibles. That's the number one thing. I remember picking these cars up and they're like, "Did you?" I'd ask them, "Did you get everything you want out?" Or and they're like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "You don't want the Bible that's sitting right there on the back window dash?" Yeah. Well, okay, folks. Thank you, Mr. Geo Pet, and I got some new subscribers, and I thank all of y'all. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to that 500 or not. I'm not trying to tease it, but. You know, if we could give it another week, give it another week. I'm trying. Thank you. Thank you.